G'day guys and gal, there isn't many things in the setting of 40k that are tougher than a Primarch. These big ass daddy issue ridden demigods are really, really hard to kill, and not for a lack of trying. Unless they're on your team, you want nothing more than for them to die. They've survived getting shot in the head with a high caliber sniper rifle, the vacuum of space, direct hit from titans, and even a nuclear bomb dropped on their ass. Yet despite their, uh, tenacity and resilience, at least five of them have been killed so far, so they definitely are killable. It just takes a lot, especially when it comes to Vulcan. He really is a uh, tough cookie. Before we get started, would you believe it? Another month of the Major Kill Surfshark VPN sponsorship. I believe it, considering we've been running this partnership nearly every month for almost two years now. As such, you should probably know the drill by now. But if you don't, having a VPN is awesome as it allows you to bypass shitty licensing deals, meaning you can greatly expand your Netflix library or whatever streaming service library you use. That is how I personally mostly use it, considering how shafted Australia gets by this kind of stuff. Beyond that though, a VPN will allow you to mask your identity online while you browse the more uh, seedy parts of the internet. Or if you just, you know, don't want the government breathing down your neck. So now you understand how essential a VPN is, why Surfshark over the rest? Well, it's super easy to use. One click and BAM, you're now Australian. On top of that, using my linking code MAGEKILL below, you'll get a massive 83% off and three months free. And if you still haven't signed up, then you're a silly little boy. Because Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee, AKA there is literally no reason not to try it. Cheers to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Today we'll go over the various methods you could use to genuinely kill a Primarch. To do this, we'll go over what has killed a Primarch in the past, as well as what has failed and why. This will help us determine the best methods for slaying the most problematic man-children in the entire galaxy. Let's get into it. <laughs> Not all Primarchs are equal when it comes to durability. One of Vulcan's special Primarch powers is the fact that he can regenerate from almost any wound. To knock him out temporarily, the traders had to nuke him. Conrad Kirst then spent a long time trying to kill Vulcan with every single method failing. So for this example, we won't be including the big cuddly man. Other Primarchs like Fulgrim are known for their exceptional regeneration. So whilst we won't disqualify them, it's important to keep that kind of stuff in mind. To make things simple, we will be inflicting all our hypothetical killing techniques on Gilliman. I like Gilliman, but in terms of physical prowess, he is very vanilla. No special healing, durability, or warp powers to give him an unexpected clutch save. For this example, G-Man also won't be suicidal and just stick his neck out. If he did, then a sharp enough axe with a tenacious enough headsman would eventually be able to cut off Gilliman's head and end his life. It would be a very unpleasant experience for everyone involved, but it should technically work. So for this video, we will assume G-Man is actively trying not to die. Let's first look at how previous Primarchs were killed to try to figure out some of the tried and tested methods. Ferris Manus was killed via decapitation during a duel with his Chaos-empowered brother Fulgrim. Whilst the sword that ended Ferris's life was sharp as fuck, it was only Fulgrim's skill and power that allowed it to actually kill him. Give that sword to an average Joe and it would probably try and fuck him. Not to mention Ferris would splatter them in one hit, sword or not. So the first method of killing a Primarch is to throw another, more powerful Primarch at them with a good enough weapon. This is honestly how most Primarchs died, which spawned the misconception that only a Primarch can kill another Primarch. That statement is false, but it seems true as it's pretty much the only thing that has been killing them. In a similar vein, Sanguinis was killed by Horus in their duel, likely from blunt force trauma. Alpharius was brutally killed by Rogel Dawn during their duel towards the end of the Horus Heresy. You should honestly read about it. Shit was brutal as fuck. Proper Mortal Kombat specs. Horus was killed via the Emperor hitting him with a Mega Kamehameha that fried his soul, whilst Conrad Curse was killed by an Imperial Assassin. However, that was more like an assisted suicide as Conrad wanted to die to prove a shitty point. That ties back to the Headsman in Gilliman. A Primarch who wants to die will be easy to kill, so the method the Assassin used, i.e. a Catan Face Sword to Conrad's neck, isn't particularly reliable beyond the fact that we know that a Catan Face Sword is physically capable of cutting through a Primarch's neck. Vulcan died many times, which taught us a lot about a Primarch's durability. The nuke that the traders used to stop his rampage technically counts as a kill. So we have our first method of killing a Primarch, which doesn't involve the need of another Primarch or the Emperor. Hence, if you are able to locate G man on the battlefield, bait him into combat, or at least somewhere that doesn't have anti-missile capabilities, or you know, just straight up carry a nuke to him and detonate it, then G-Man or any reasonable Primarch should die pretty well. 
Obvious downsides to this method is that you'll probably have to nuke half your army, that's there at the time, but if it means killing a Primarch, totally worth it. While I did say earlier that Primarchs could withstand a Titan Blast, it is still very much a valid method of melting their balls and ending their lives. When a Warhound Titan started firing at Lorgar with its plasma gun, the bold evil man wasn't in the greatest shape. He used the psychic shield to block the first shot, then tried again with the second shot, however he was weakened, and a lot of the blast got through, fucking him up badly and nearly killing him. The Warhound then goes to stomp on him, but Angron saves the day with his infamous ability to hold up a fucking titan leg that was about to squish Lorgar. G-Man doesn't have psychic shields. The first plasma blast would floor him, causing obscene damage and pushing him to the end of his life. The second shot would most likely finish him off entirely. If not, then a third shot or a stomp would do the trick. Warhounds are the smallest titans. Make that a warlord and a single shot should be enough to barbecue a Primarch instantly. The hardest part would be catching the Primarch out in the open, but as we saw with Lorgar, it's entirely possible. So yeah, just jump into any titan and that Primarch is good as dead. Unless it's Sanguinius or Magnus, then you are very dead. What about Void Combat? If you take out a Primarch ship and he's in it, surely he's dead. Well, apparently not. Lorgar blew G-Men out of his flagship. The big blondie then proceeded to just rampage on the outside side of his ship, massacring Lorgar's choir boys, all without a helmet, until he could get back in. If you could blow up a ship in one big glorious explosion, then maybe you could be on, but generally that's not what happens. It's also important to note that Primarchs have a bit of a, uh, destiny surrounding them. If they die, it has to be glorious. You'll never kill a Primarch with a lucky shot in void combat. How about guns? Well, yeah, if you shoot a Primarch enough times with big enough guns, they will die. Although I hope you pack a shitload of bullets. When Lehman and Angron fought, Lehman baited Angron into a kill zone, where Angron was surrounded by dozens of space wolves with bolters. It was accepted then and there that if Lehman gave the order to fire, Angron would have gotten torn to shreds. Neither Primarch even considered the possibility of survival against that kind of onslaught. An onslaught it must be though, Primarch vital organs are so well protected and durable that a lucky shot to the heart or even head probably won't do the trick. Fulgrim was sniped through his eye by a high caliber sniper rifle and just got a bit of a headache. Primarchs are shown to shrug off most shots during a battle, so to gun one of them down requires a lot of guns firing at a vulnerable Primarch, preferably one that doesn't wear his helmet much. If you do manage to get a Primarch at your mercy, you can kill them pretty easily. G-Man has been in multiple instances where he's been at the mercy of another. However, his would-be killer has too much of a hard-on for villain monologues and doesn't go for the kill straight away. As such, G-Man has time to kick their ass and survive. If they had zero hesitation when they get a blade to Gilliman's neck, then their odds of killing him would be pretty good. Maybe not great, as a simple combat knife or maybe even a power sword wouldn't be nearly enough to behead a Primarch in a single hit, but better than monologuing until until the Primarch rips your chest open with their pinky. This next method might seem like a bit more of an unlikely technique, but Primarchs can be given the fatal spicy cough. It has to be a very spicy cough though. Like a Primarch could go to Bangkok, bang some cock for a week straight, and there would be no chance of them getting the clap. However, Horace was fatally wounded by a poisonous chaos knife, only surviving because he promised to ruin everyone's day, whilst Gilliman was infected with the God Blight, a special Nurgle disease that killed him pretty quickly. The fact that he then revived as a vessel for the Emperor and clapped Nurgle's cheeks is irrelevant. The poison knife Fulgrim cut Gilliman with also technically killed him, so powerful enough bio-warfare is quite effective. At the end of the day, the philosophy of if it can bleed, we can kill it really does apply here. Anything that draws a Primarch's blood could probably end up killing him if you smack them with it enough times. What about Demon Primarchs? Well, Demon Primarchs aren't really surrounded by destiny anymore, as they swapped it out for their ascension to Demon Prince status. As such, they're actually easier to kill compared to a normal Primarch, despite technically being more durable. Fulgrim was hit point blank with a virus bomb that banished him to Horny Jail. Angron got grey knighted. Magnus got hit with a Cornite axe and then said goodbye. All of these count as genuine kills, with the Primarchs only surviving as demons can reform in the warp. One very reliable way to permanently kill them would be via using the Emperor's Flaming Sword, known for its very handy ability to permakill demons. A demon Primarch gets shish kebabbed with that and he can kiss eternity goodbye. Speaking of demons, powerful greater demons have been shown to go toe to toe with Primarchs, with Kabunda even beating Sanguinius and having him at his mercy. So if you threw a handful of named greater demons at a Primarch, that Primarch would be pretty fucked. Just look at what Erebus did to kill Erda, the mother of the Primarchs. He literally just Pokemoned four greater demons at her and then called it a day. 
On the topic of mystical bullshit and whatnot, a powerful enough Psyker can kill a Primarch. Non-Psyker Primarchs were shown to have big weaknesses to Psyker powers. Luther beat the Lion due to Chaos and Fuse warp powers, whilst Malkador was able to force choke Horus into submission. If he wanted to, he could then have killed Horus. So from that, we can see that an Alpha Plus Psyker could most likely kill Gilliman relatively easily. I mean, Karos Fate Weaver had Gilliman at his mercy using pure Psyker powers. The only issue with that plan is that a Psyker that powerful is incredibly rare, and if you do find one, it's likely they will be so mind-raped that it will be impossible to actually direct them in Gilliman's direction. So overall, without plot armor, you can kill a Primarch by throwing a nuke at them, catching them out in the open with a shitload of heavy firepower, an Alpha Chad Mega Ball Psyker, or a Titan. However, with their plot armor, which they actually have because Destiny and whatnot, your best bet is to throw a stronger Primarch at them or just bully them until they get depressed enough to be open about assisted suicide. Gilliman has been cum blasted with bolters, shot out into the vacuum of space, had his throat slit twice, had a building thrown at him, been burnt alive by warp fire, infected, and killed by the god blight virus. Yet he's healthier than ever, so uh, yeah, good luck with that one. If you enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be. Really one dollar per month give you access to a boatload of Battle Mace 40 million hentai. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more tough content. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.